All right, thank you for joining me again on this series, YouTube series, all about uh, learning how to use YouTube and video to optimize for the search engines and how to repurpose that content by turning it into blog posts that potentially rank on the search engines. And then you can also do share all of this with social, of course. So I'm showing you step by step how to do all of this. Something I do every day for my uh, two companies. I own a marketing company called Ballon Brands and a real estate business in Las Vegas, Nevada, Lori Ballon team at Keller Williams. So today we are talking about how to edit captions on your video. So I've already told you why and what we're doing in the first video. Uh, we went over how to upload a video and how to set the defaults on your channel. We added our custom thumbnail. We added end screens and um, uh, end, end screens and cards for your calls to action. And now we are going to edit the captions. So here's what happens. When you upload your video, this is the screen I'm on now is your video manager. So this shows you all of your videos. You can look at all kinds of things about your videos. These were all uploaded today. So obviously we're, we've been very busy um, or today and yesterday. And so what we're able to do is uh, YouTube adds automatic captions. We're able to go in and edit those. And there is a reason why you want to edit those because it makes a mess out of names and .com addresses and email addresses and things like that or uncommon words, okay? Now, if you scroll down to my video manager here, I can tell which ones I have edited the captions on because it says closed captioning. See that little CC? So I have gone in and edited, edited it, and when I do that or I add captions, it will give me the little CC sign here. That's how I know which ones I've done and which ones I haven't done. Uh, I will tell you, you can order your captions to be created manually if you don't want to edit them on your own. If you go over to rev.com, and um, this is just one service that I know of, and go over here to captions, for a buck a minute, click get started. You can paste a video URL. So I would take my video I just did, and I'm gonna go down to info and settings, and it'll open the video there, and then I can grab the URL right here. See, it's off to the right, see that little URL? And then I can go up here and I can click paste the URL or I can upload the file manually. Um, then I can click I'm finished and it'll tell me how much my order is going to be. It's going to be $25. Okay. I will tell you right now that I am making a ton of videos. And so this gets expensive very quickly because I'm also transcribing the video for the blog post, which is a buck a minute as well. So if I make a video that is 25 minutes long, I'm going to pay $25 for captions and I'm going to pay $25 for transcript and I'm doing five of those today, it's going to add up really quickly. But if I'm only doing one a week or I'm only doing one a month, for goodness sakes, of course, this would be just fine to roll this out if it, it, would, if it fits into your budget. But I'm going to show you how to do this um, without doing that. So if I go to YouTube, and I click on, um, this is the video we're looking at, the, the example we've been using through this playlist, okay? Up here, I'm gonna click on subtitles and closed captioning, that little CC, subtitles and clo closed captioning. Now, what you can see here is that YouTube already automatically added closed captioning. Click on your little CC button down here to turn that on. And let's see. One of the things I started doing there? years ago for my real estate business here in Las Vegas was creating video. Okay, now click on that transcript and then click on unpublish. This is where you're going to be able to do your edit. Now, in these captions, they're, they're not using any kind of punctuation. The words just show up underneath the screen, okay? So scroll down and you can look and see where there, if you think about it, were there any words in that, um, in this series that I think they may not understand, or I can watch the video. I can, you know, I'm just skimming mine to be honest with you right now, because I'm producing so many. Um, and I'll scroll down to the bottom. And 
here's an example. Okay, thumbnail. Actually, this one looks perfectly fine. I didn't use any names or call to action or dot coms on mine, did I? Let me take a look. Here's what I know which ones they usually mess up. So I am going to do a con command F to find, and I'm going to type in B-A-L to see if, oh, sure enough. So I know that they always butcher my name and my brand names. So see right here, you don't know called Balon, B-A-L-O-N, that's spelled wrong. Well, we don't want my own name spelled wrong. So I'm going to change this to Balon Brands. Then I'm going to click the little, oops. Then I'm going to click the little arrow to see if there's any more. Ah, Larry Ballon. Okay, Lori Ballon. See, that's hilarious. With Balon Vegas, that's wrong. Balon Vegas. Okay, located in Nevada's Mojave Desert. I don't even know what that says. Now, if you don't know what you meant to say here, click here and press the play button. This particular video. Hey, it's Lori Ballon with Ballon Vegas. Located in Nevada's Mojave Desert, Las Vegas. Okay, Las. See, they have Claus. How funny. Las Vegas. Okay. So, especially when you're like playing a video within a video or something, it's harder for the machine to hear. You want to check your check this out. Okay. Pond five is one they could have butchered, but they got that one right. This is just, they're just doing this electronically, digitally. It's automated. It's not a human sitting there doing all this in this particular case. Okay. And my videos take anywhere from five to 20 minutes, probably for the captions to upload. I don't know that I've ever really just sat there and checked. I just come back to it. Um, okay. So we did Balin. Okay, and then also Lori, they sometimes do wrong. We've already done that one. I really think that's it. I think that's fine. So then once I've done this, what I can do is um, I can download this file and I can upload a file as well. So if I click download, then it actually saves it as a, a SBB file, which is not what I want. So let me show you this. So instead, I'm going to click publish. What I need is an SRT file because Facebook takes SRT files, okay? So once I've made my whole video here now, click back on that English. I didn't need to click away from that, okay? And now I'm going to go to Actions, and now look, there's more options here. Download, Original Format, okay? We want SRT, okay? And then you can just save this as is, but I am actually going to change the name and save this as what Facebook wants it to be. Facebook's tricky. So instead, see up here where it says Captions SRT? I'm going to change this, and I'm going to call this one, um, what video was this? I guess it's just the original one, part one. Video Tutorial 1. And then you have to retitle this dot uh, en for English if you're doing this in English if you're doing it in another language you need the code for that language English underscore us capitalized dot srt this is why if you're trying to upload videos to Facebook and it's not working or trying to upload captions to Facebook and it's not working you have to do, you have to have, they require you to title it like this, at least as of today. Who knows? They change things all the time. In fact, last time I looked, they're adding captions now. So um, I'll cover that in another video. But if you've already done all the editing and you, this is simple, you up, you save it and then you upload it. Okay. Ian, and I'm going to save this to my captions folder. Okay, perfect. Done and done. And then um, I'm going to go back to my videos and now watch. It'll show you that you did the caption because now the CC will be there where it wasn't there before. And there it is. Okay. So um, also I forgot to tell you that if you do not want people to be able to embed this video on their website, which I don't know why you wouldn't. I, I love it when people embed my videos. It's more watch time. But actually, it was on your upload. I forgot to show you. There is an option that says allow embed or do not allow embed. And now, for the sake of me, I can't remember. Uh, standard YouTube license. Oh, here it is. Allow embedding. So you can turn that off. 
if you don't want people to be able to use the embed code to put the, your video on their website, turn that off. If you want them to be able to embed it, leave it on. By default, I have mine set to leave on. And then this other one that I just came across is license and rights ownership. Hold on, let's see what that is. Um, Creative Commons. I want to see what that Creative Commons license is. Provide a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work. YouTube allows user to mark their videos. Okay, I think I'm going to go back and change that and make mine standard YouTube. I don't think I want people to be able to use my work. But I don't mind that they embed it. Okay, those are two different things. And that's something new and I'll have to cover that on a different video. All right, so that is how you edit your captions on your YouTube videos.